In problem number 51, we have an ammeter that has to be constructed which can read currents up to 2 ampere. If the coil has a resistance 25 ohm and takes 1 ampere for full scale deflection, what should be the resistance of the shunt used? Let's understand what's going on here. See, we have to, we have a circuit that, that potentially, this is some whole circuit that can potentially take 2 ampere of current. And we need to measure this 2 ampere of current. So, the way we do is, now our emitter cannot take one, uh, more than 1 milliampere of current. Because if you take more than uh, 1 milliampere, it will go past its, its uh, full scale. So what we do, we use a shunt resistor here. A shunt resistor means a resistor which is parallel to it, is shunt it. We don't, we don't allow the current to flow mostly on this. We shunt it through here or short it through here. So if this resistance... So when we use a shunt resistance, this 2 ampere current will get divided into this. Some part will go to emitter and some part will go to the shunt resistor. We want most of the current to go through this. Only a very tiny amount of this will go through the emitter. And because of, it will do two things. Because this resistance is very small, so the, our whole circuit will not see anything in series of it. It will, because this resistance is very small, like 0.1 ohm or something like 0.01 ohm, it looks like a simple copper wire. Secondly, because of this resistor, we have a very smaller current flowing in this emitter. So, what should be the correct value of resist, series resistant resistor so we can measure 1 milliampere? So, let us say, uh, now, we want to know that the emitter can take only 1 milliampere. So let 1 milliampere is flowing through this. The remaining current through this resistor is going to be 2 ampere minus 1 milliampere or 0 0.001 ampere. Okay, that is the current flowing through this. Now with 1 milliampere and 25 ohm resistance, the voltage across this whole thing is going to be I into R. I is 1 milliampere or 10 to the power minus 3. The resistance of this emitter is 25 ohm, so it's 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. And the voltage across the shunt resistor RS is going to be V is equal to I into R. 2 minus 0 0.001 is roughly equal to 2. This is 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by, so this is roughly 2. Or this is going to be 2, 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. 10 to the power minus 3 means milli ohm. So this is the whole thing. I mean, anytime you think of a emitter, think that you need to put a shunt resistor in parallel with this. It should be as small as possible. 